Alright guys, Phil Buster here, part 3, Kingdom of the Danes, Age of Charlemagne, expansion for Total War Attila. I have uh, conquered, I guess, present day uh, Netherlands, Northern France area, and Charlemagne's not too happy about that. So we are going to have to defend this area be interesting. Uh, so you got the general here. I'm give him Let's see extra cunning. It's pretty darn good. Cavalry, but I don't think that would enable me to take this force on. I'm gonna have to do something about my king here. He's trapped, which was part of the issue. I think I will employ the scout cavalry here. somewhere around in here because I believe my reinforcements are going to be coming from the right side of the map or at least I think they should if let's wait till some clear day there we go Skirmisher cavalry down here. Come in skirmisher mode, get ready to screen their advance. Ooh, 
intense. Okay, got it under control. Turning their right flank. Gonna keep uh, this turn going. We'll collapse on the center of their lines. Refocus my archers to the right flank as well. Cavalry on a charge. The men have thrown down their weapons to uh, engage the range units, keep them occupied. While I collapse. Oh, no, no, no. taking more casualties than I should be. However, the important thing is that I got my king out of there. Ready so I'm about battle. to get him out of there. Captives. Move out. Okay. And I will play it safe. gonna Do battle. pull kind of a cheap trick here and in fact disband this guy Ready for orders. and take the fight in some support. Alright. So he's laying siege to Ghent. That's just not ideal to say the least. The gods speak through thunder and storm. But they tell us to ally with so they're a little bit scared. Um, I am more than happy to uh, 
to sign an autograph pack with them. Get caught up in that war that they got there on my border. And <laughs> political persuasion is precise art. Your your man decided the time was not right to make his attempt. As such, he aborted the plan. Well, I should not be allowed. To uh, look out for those two sets of archers there. So I think the best way to go about this is attack from several different angles, and just get in there as quick as possible. So we're going to attack from four of the areas, and one will be oh. from all angles. And they are engaging out on me. Okay. Let's see what we can make of this. Up and 
running for their lives. down get old levy archers spin spin up 40 seconds Pull back. our men run from the enemy this is shameful okay just fast forwarding Victory, but it was victory. And it should take care of them. Warriors all. Is that all? Get in now. We'll take care of them. Making some progress here. Some progress. Okay, so I will now disband these guys, free up, free up some cap space, garrison them back into Utrecht. So that army that I did um, disband, I'm going to reinstate Siegfried in Boulogne, Garrison, and then I will in each location. Uh, let's see the garrison in Boulogne. It's two axes and an archer. Then I'll have my general. And there will be a set of marines. So unless they hire some mercenaries. Which doesn't look like there are any. Should be fine. I'm gonna bring this uh, assassin back here to try to take out his rank 2 general. Maybe give me a better chance. Damn, he's got another army coming in. This could be tough. Gonna be real, 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 real tough. Okay. Character Uba. Get public order. Let's get some ammunition. the attrition and 
believe we adopted him, so I will get the personal influence. Because right now he's got four. Because I haven't been able to construct any buildings, because Charlemagne is just coming at me. How is he able to do all of this? There's a good pork roasting for you. I'm Still no in. trade. No riddles. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna end the turn. Oh yeah, that sucks. So, my king is definitely in a tight spot. There's Siege and Bloin, Imperium, Famine. Okay. addition to that army right there. Let's see if there's something we can get back in our... Let's see if we can get a ship right. Get fields. I'm gonna get fields for sure. No, this is just... I almost have to fight this right here. Okay, we're gonna do it. So, my goal is to definitely use the higher morale that my troops have right now to uh, force their troops to leave. Battlefield. Okay, gonna start deployment. Not sure where my reinforcements are coming from. I don't know why they still don't have the marker. Just because I'm playing on legendary. I, mean, I guess you really have to try it in this case. But it's pretty annoying. Got my reinforcements. I actually have a pretty nice looking. Little army here. I think I'm in decent. 
nice and shape. Advancing slowly. I am at the high ground. Fast forwarding. Can use flaming shot to really affect the morale. Bring this guy in on some flaming shot as well. Quicker. Gotta wait for a concentrated, concentrated shot right here. Some mercenaries. Got the high ground here, so I'm assuming casualties between range units will be somewhat similar. I should have a pretty good advantage here because they only have 44 of 120 Mercenary Army Swordsman and 41 of 120 Loki Spearmen, and they got their General's unit. So I think once they run out of ammunition for their uh, archers here, they should be in pretty good shape. I'm gonna reduce the chance of them just winning by range by going into the shield wall. Continue to fire on them. They have to make the first move. They're withdrawing. Shameful display. And words later. Switch back to flaming shot here. Actually, let's try to inflict some casualties. The heavy shot. I'm gonna throw a heavy shot at them as well. Now that the troops make up for their shameful display just now. Might not do much yet. Good news is one set of archers is out of ammo, the other set is just about out of ammo as well. And the third unit is gonna be out here soon, so they're gonna have to make a play. I am kinda worried about their oh, here we go. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my axeman in. Then relocate my spearmen, because I want to save my spearmen for their general. Did get a few of their armored swordsmen. Okay. I'm going to use the axemen to my advantage. Definitely going to need good participation for my general on this one. In fact, I'm bring him around the edge here. 
so I'm gonna always try to keep my spearmen uh, protecting the flank of my general here. And actually, I'm gonna rapid engage their spearmen or their uh, their general's cavalry unit and destroy their t flank their two melee units with my general here. Second one, some mercenary armored spearmen. little pesky uh, Charlemagne armies here. The really important part of this one is that I'll be able to train troops down here, I think. I know, I already got a full queue up here. Finish them off. Getting charge, bo charge bonus because and battle movement speed. Since I don't have cavalry, um, you're as Danes, you're pretty dependent on like a shock charge from the infantry. So once we get big axes, that'll be that'll put them to good use. Hmm. The issue is. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get real about our situation here. Okay, we're gonna try to get a little bit of money out of that. Our king is unfortunately gonna have issues, but. Might be able to salvage our situation here. Proceed quickly and well. Don't you promise? Do not waste time on okay, neither want it. All right, we're just gonna have to go with the flow here. Kingdom of Franks. Are not gonna take Kent. They're gonna keep sieging it out, which is good for me. It's giving. Westphalia a chance to assist my king. Famine, attrition, rejection. Oh my god. Not looking good. I can put Here's some mercenary scout cavalry and raise Siegfried again. Reinstate the legacy and you're gonna train up. Some units there. the risk we got here, but we're going to do it. And so they're going to be able to go before Westphalia. What so we're going to do is to get one star, one star, they get two star here. Assassinate him. That did not work out. So it's about to go down. Secure loyalty there, and then his wife, I believe, 
stay in the faction. So then I can try to marry him off to one of these guys. Marry her off to one of those guys. Okay, the time has come, and they are attacking with 4,600. Against 600. There's just no way. Absolutely no way. And they have just sacked Ghent. their two big stacks together and they just push all three of us back but I don't believe they have enough movement points to engage oh I got the bottom guy yep so Westphalia is falling back we will probably have to fall back as well and it's gonna get tough it's definitely gonna get tough Governor was killed in battle. So I had two generals die. Secession to Hemming and his son is Hafton. It's the new heir. We got hostile agent actions everywhere. We've got natural cause deaths. We've got attrition. Famine. Do we really want his first action to be? Locking an office, 4% control, I've got 22% control, I gotta block the promotion, cannot lose a lot of control here. Ghent has just been completely sacked, tricked, missing the warrior's hall, however I did get those units trained, they didn't lose anything going after those guys. Move those over to the regular army. Bring it back to Trekt. And continue with the elite units. Um, so they don't have enough. I guess they can reach there. You know what? I'm just gonna make sure that we have a good siege defense possibility. Come back way. here. Okay, 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 okay. I think we're doing alright. Might not look like it, but I think we're doing alright. Greetings to you. I trust you. No trade will be had. You honor us. Faith. Okay. That's right, because Uba did not make it. and the turn. Yep, Charlene's gone, 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 gone. He will siege. And it is gonna be one hell of a fight. So we will end the segment here and the start of the next segment will be seeing if we can defend this and I have so much cavalry that I think if I cheese it up a bit I could definitely be able to uh, defend it so we will end that for now um, part three take it easy